not science. It's Evan science. The dictionary defines science as the methodical investigation of the natural world around us. But this is It's Effin' Science, and we like to define it as just another excuse to F around. Speaking of effing around, today we're going to hack science to build a jetpack powerful enough to lift Mark above this lake. Yep, and safe enough too, right? Like I said, powerful enough to lift Mark above this lake. The idea of strapping a rocket to your back and flying around like and emerged from science fiction in the 1920s. But the first practical flight tests weren't until the 1960s. Jetpacks have rocket engines that use hydrogen peroxide or jet fuel to create controlled explosions. The expanding gas from those explosions is funneled through a nozzle creating thrust. But today we're going to get our thrust from a different source, a fire hose. Now this is our hydro jetpack. The main muscle of the jetpack is actually on the back where the hose connects. We've got two sweeping elbows that are made out of steel, a cam lock, an aluminum fitting, and finally the brass nozzle. Now these cam locks are key. These are what allow it to rotate so that we can have some sort of control with this thing. Those cam locks act like hinges to control the direction of the thrust, the water shooting out of the nozzle. That's critical, because if Mark doesn't find the perfect angle, he'll be at the mercy of 250 pounds of thrust pushing him in the wrong direction. Ah! The pressurized wad for the jetpack is actually going to be created by this fire truck. We're using a recycling system, which is this giant intake is going to take water from the lake, pump it up to pressure inside here, and then spit it out our hoses through our jetpack. Time to suit up, Mark. Put this thing on or get in it. You know what, man? I have been in so many of your prototypes. Ah, damn it! I do not trust you, man. What? I think you should do it Come first. Come on, this is solid. Chad, is this seatbelt just like taped on? <laughs> Come on, it's homemade. Yep, nothing builds more confidence than duct tape on a jetpack, dude. <laughs> I don't know, Chad, I think you should try first too. All right, I'll do it. I'll go, and if it works, you're next. <laughs> Let's show us that you believe in your invention. Okay, you look like a total. This is the most dangerous stunt we've ever tried. So for this one, we've brought in some stuntmen. They're going to be in the water with Chad because he's going to have 80 pounds of equipment on his back and 250 pounds of water pressure shooting out of it. If he goes under, he could drown. So they're just here to make sure that nothing goes horribly wrong. He looks like Iron Man, doesn't he? Yeah, but Chad's nowhere near that. No, Chad is no Tony Stark. Our mission is to get Chad hovering over the lake and gently lower him back down and do it all safely. He's connected to a fire hose, so he can't fly off into the wild blue yonder, but he could fly into the wild red fire truck. We have two safety lines attached to him in case that jetpack goes ballistic. And of course, we're doing this on the water, so if he loses control, instead of a crash landing, there'll be a splash landing. Crazy. I'm not doing this. Nope, I'm not doing this, man. Come on, Chad. A little higher, a little higher. You okay? Is he okay? Is he okay? But Chad's okay. So what's that feel like, dude? It's awesome. But then when you lose control, what do you think? Oh, that I'm like a jetpack rocket man and flying straight yeah. into the ground. Every time I've gone down, I'm actually hitting really hard. On paper, Chad should be floating like a hummingbird. 
Newton's third law says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The action here is the water shooting out of those nozzles. The reaction should be Chad going straight up into the air. So what's with the belly flop? It's the fine print in Newton's third law. It says equal and opposite reaction. It's the opposite that's tripping us up. Those nozzles are gonna push Chad in the exact opposite direction from the way they point. So if he leans the slightest bit left, right, forward, or back, that's the way they'll send him flying. Chad needs to keep the nozzles pointed directly beneath his center of gravity. The cam locks give him some control, but it's all up to it balance. I know I can do better. I can get higher. Chad, seriously, how beat up are you right now? Oh, Here, let me get Take out the helmet. Oh, oh, dude, it's your turn. No, no, no. I don't want to uh, die and so hit the dot. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs>